Good evening and welcome to Thursday's Midlands Today from the BBC. Tonight, after the driest year since 1929, seven trends say we must all use less water because while temperatures, populations and demand are all increasing, there's no extra water available. But with seven Trent losing nearly a quarter of their water through leaks from their pipes, there comes the inevitable question, shouldn't they put their own house in order first? Fraser Pithy from Seven Trent met our environment correspondent David Gregory at one of the worst affected reservoirs. David's here now. So, David, how has it got and have reserves? Yeah. In a moment on Midlands Today. Speed cameras across the region could be turned off after the government announced a 40% cut in the road safety budget. Now, it started as a bit of a joke between workers who were faced with losing their jobs, but has turned into a successful business. A year after the Birmingham van maker LDB collapsed, seven former employees who put in their redundancy money are making a living doing what they used to do. Our business correspondent, Peter Plisner, has now been to see their new factory. That's Great mighty news, good news, too, yeah, isn't lovely, it? Yeah, lovely, yeah. Uh, still to come on tonight's programme. <laughs> Now, it may not be the fastest crime-fighting tool in the box, but a new bicycle is being hailed by one force as the latest weapon in the fight against crime. Yeah, it's called a digibike and it plays films, sends messages and gives passers-by advice on how to protect their property. Jackie Cabler has been to see just how it works. <laughs> 